Good morning and welcome to Buzzboard. Thank you very much for spending the next 10 minutes watching this video. My name is Neil Polachek and I've been working in the di local digital media space for over a decade. I want to first thank you for watching this video for the next 10 minutes. And I'm confident when you're finished, you'll see the opportunities in leveraging the Buzzboard sales engagement tool. By way of background, the Buzzboard sales engagement tool was built by vSplash, a technology company that is headquartered in Lyndhurst, New Jersey and Hyderabad, India. vSplash has been operating in the digital media space for over a decade, and its current partners include clients from around the world and are some of the largest and most innovative local media companies operating today. So over the next few minutes, I'll be demonstrating to you the remark the remarkable sales engagement tool called Buzzboard. Buzzboard was conceived by the engineering and sales teams at vSplash on a, based on a simple premise. Local media sales reps needed a better way to transform the sales experience from product selling and order taking to consultation and engagement. Layout, you'll notice that there are four tabs at the top of the main section of the Buzzboard tool. We'll go through each one of those tabs over the next few minutes. Along the bottom, you'll see a number of widgets that also help with the performance of the Buzzboard tool. Let's start on the Information tab. The Information tab provides a couple of key pieces of information. First, along the left-hand side, is the Seller's Assignment List, or Lead List. Each entry has been scored by the Buzzboard tool based on the analysis of the merchant's overall web activities. The lower the number, the more dire the situation is for the merchant. The higher the number, the better the merchant is prepared to compete in the digital world. The, these leads or accounts can be resorted any number of ways, recent, score, or A to Z. Very easy to use, very simple interface. You will also see a number of other pieces of information at the top of the page. This is for Eno's Pizza Tavern. It has the address, city, phone number, and URL. This score says that it's in the mid-range of relative performance in terms of its digital presence and performance, and that there's a selling opportunity that might be as much as $7,000. Below here are a number of other sections where the seller can put contact information, reminder, and notes and, attachment, and attachments. Think of this as the main dashboard for the merchant. Now let's get into the guts of the tool. Here we go to the audit tab. We are now in the real core of the tool. This is where the seller merchant engagement begins to happen. Buzzboard runs a comprehensive assessment of the merchant's digital footprint. On the left-hand side of this page, you will see th the three Ps, presence, performance, and pay-per-click. I will explore each one of these with you. The tool opens here on the presence section. Here, you will see four primary sections of analysis, search engine marketing, search engine indexing, mobile website presence, social media presence, and local business presence. These sections answer the fundamental question, where? Where can the digital footprint of this merchant be found? Think of these four sections this way. One, is the merchant's website indexed in the search engines? Two, is the merchant's website optimized for mobile viewing? Three, is the merchant's digital presence found in the social media platforms? And four, can the merchant's website be found in the largest search directories? As a footnote, all of the section headers and individual parameters, you can simply tap on these, as I'm doing, and get some more information about what that specific issue is or topic in very simple lay terms. Easy for the seller, easy for the merchant to understand. Importantly, a simple tap on the, many of the check boxes will bring up 
for instance, the Facebook page. This is happening in real time. Here's Enzo's Facebook information. Now, simply remember here the number of people who have liked this page, 4,349. You see this number here. We'll come back to this number in a few minutes. But this is the merchant's Facebook presence. Similarly, I can tap on Yelp over here, and up will come the merchant's Yelp listing. Looking for Enno's Pizza Tavern, Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas. There it is, Enno's Pizza Tavern. So now, at the tap of a finger, the merchant and the seller can engage in the digital experience that consumers are having as it relates to the, the merchant's business. We can simply tap on performance over the left and we'll see the dig how the performance of this digital presence is happening. Remember the last page was answering where is it found? This section answers how well can that merchant's presence be found? In this area, we have five main sections. Local analysis, SEO analysis, or search engine optimization analysis, SMO analysis, or social media optimization analysis here, reputation analysis, and keyword analysis. I will quickly tap on each of these sections to give you a sense of the overall section. In the local analysis section, this really asks the question, does the website have the necessary local markers to tell the search engines that it's a local business? Important stuff for all local merchants. In the SEO analysis, it simply questions, is the site optimized for search engine exposure? In the social section, tapping on it says, how is the business faring in social media? Now remember, a few minutes ago when we looked at the Facebook page for this merchant, we saw that there were 4,349 Facebook fans. And here we see that number come up. So we know that they're tied together. And then reputation analysis. What is the online reputation of the business like? And finally, keyword analysis. An analysis of the keywords used in the website to determine its rank in the first 50 results of the three main search engines. Now quickly, I want to show you that the tool will also bring up the most recent Facebook posts by this business. So as you can see, on July, June 21, 2013, it says, celebrate summer solstice with a tasty beer from the state that knows summer, Texas. So this is a way for the merchant and the seller to engage in what they're doing within the social network space. So five sections here. I've gone through each one of those. In the reputation section, you'll see that the number of reviews, their average rating, and the number of brand mentions. Now, let's take a look at the pay-per-click section. I simply tap on pay-per-click, and up comes an analysis on the, of the pay-per-click situation. First, in the pay-per-click presence area of Buzzboard, it determines if a pay-per-click pay campaign has been running in the last 20 days, prior to the last 20 days. If a campaign has just started, the tool will not pick that up. Now below here, you'll see the opportunities and some analysis around what could a merchant do with respect to search engine marketing. It has a recommended key set of keywords based on sentiment analysis of the merchant site. As a result, you'll see a number of suggested or recommended keywords in this section. In the column marked volume, you will see the number, average number of searches made in the last 30 days on that keyword here, and then the volume marked search results, you will see that if you search on that keyword for NO, for instance, the search engines will return some 35 million results. Now this is likely because NO is a more of a common term. As you will see, as we move down to NO's pizza, the number of search results goes down considerably. Below this, you can tap to see the possible competitors 
And what comes up are a number of domains that are situated in the relevant area. Finally, you will see below that a simple budget calculator. Let's say that the merchant said that they could afford to spend $500 on search. They could end up with a possible 730 clicks per month. Very simple tool to show the merchant how they can compete. Now, importantly, you can see that we can go to a customized or a non-customized view of all this. So there are lots of flexibilities in, in customizing the view of this, these, the presentation so that if some of these issues are too complex or too intricate, we can turn those on and off with a simple on and off. Now, let me get back to the presence and remember that all of these, this report for this merchant can be bundled up into a very easy to read audit, sales audit or, or audit report, and simply sent off to the merchant with the tap, with the simple tapping of the tool. We're going to cancel that because we don't need to send it. And we're, we'll, we'll show you other, of, of other features along the way. One of the great features of the tool is the competition tab. Now, the competition tab is where the seller can show the merchant how they're doing versus their competitors. As we can see here, there are three competitors that have been found that compete with Eno's Pizza. The magic of this section is that the merchant can see very simply and very clearly how they stack up in terms of presence and performance against their competitors. And we all know that the, that the competitive issue is a huge factor that influences how merchants make marketing and advertising decisions. And the competition tab covers both presence and performance. And the checks and the X's make it very clear how that merchant stacks up against the competitor. Now we can add or subtract a competitor very easily. If we wanted to subtract a competitor, we would simply tap on a specific competitor and delete them. Or we could add a competitor by simply adding them into the search results, into the results. We'd put in name, city, state, zip code, and search for the competitor. Now, finally, I'd like to move to the proposal page. This is where it all comes together. We assemble on this page the findings from the digital footprint audit and craft a proposal which, which addresses the key deficiencies in the merchant's digital footprint. For the purposes of this demonstration, we've put in a proposed table of mock products that the seller could be offering. On the left-hand side, you'll see what the annual investment the merchant would make to bring their digital presence and performance up to com really competitive standards. Um, it's really to, that, that's, the, that's the proposed budget. Now often a merchant will indicate that the full budget amount is too much. So there are a couple ways to address that. We can enter a one-time cost. Let's say the merchant can afford $2,000 up front, but they only want to spend $250 on an ongoing basis. So we can regenerate the proposal based on those factors. And as you can see, we lowered it to under one time $1,900 and monthly 42. What we've done is we've applied that, those parameters, those spending parameters to the most important aspects of how their uh, presence and performance needs to be upgraded. We can go back to the default there's also a way that we can customize this, more like a Chinese menu, where we simply tap and click on the various items. Let's say they don't want a mobile website. No one in today's world would not want a mobile website, but let's say they don't. But let's say they want power listings in terms of their business listings, and they don't want to be on um, YouTube and LinkedIn, but they do want to be on Foursquare and Facebook. So what we're doing now is going through one by one and providing a robust um, Chinese menu of how the, their, the merchant's budget can be developed. And, of course, any seller can put their specific products 
in the back end here. So there are a number of ways to use the proposal tab. This is just a demonstration using some numbers in here. One of the other things that we want to make sure you take away is that many times a sales, a seller, a sales rep will go out into the marketplace and not have the appropriate collateral. Well, the Buzzboard tool helps that issue and deals with that by putting in various sales collateral. This is a mock-up. We've made these up for the purposes of the demonstration. But these are sales collateral pieces that help a merchant and a seller engage in the process. And so no longer will the seller be able to say, oh, I didn't have the appropriate collateral out there. Um, I didn't have the latest collateral. It's all there, all in one place. Again, these proposals can be saved. We'll take a look at the customized proposal. It's downloading. And there it is, the proposal for Eno's Pizza Tavern. All of this is white labeled. All of this is white labeled. Vsplash is not in the business of going direct to the merchants. Now let me quickly take you through the widgets at the bottom of the page. This widget here enables you or the seller to add a listing, edit a listing, or regenerate a listing. Very simple, very straightforward. The next one is a passcode so that the seller can lock their device. The third one is a mapping tool. This allows a rep to plot their leads or assignment list on a map. Perhaps the seller will reorganize their day based on where the merchants are with the highest opportunity. Imagine that they had 40 merchants in the Los Angeles area. Well, we'd see a clustering of these things just in the Los Angeles area. This fourth item is simply a place where the seller's contacts would show up. Think of it as a, as a CRM tool. And by the way, we the vSplash has done integrations with Salesforce.com. Here is a set of favorite businesses. That the, that the seller might want to put in their favorites list. Here is a tool or a widget that helps them with reminders that they have an appointment at a specific time. This item here is simply notes. Oh, I need to do this. A lot like how Eversaves provides notes. This item here allows me to email perhaps this customized proposal off to somebody's email. Very simple, very easy, very easy to engage with. This is a very interesting tool. This is a recording tool so that the merchant and the seller can have a meaningful, engaging conversation and all of that can be recorded by the tool. And then it can be quickly sent off, enter the recording name, and then sent off to perhaps some sales support people. This tool allows me, with my iPad, to take a photo or a video or a gallery so that I can start to let, collect the necessary content to improve that merchant's web presence. This widget enables the seller to drive feedback to the support team at Buzzboard. And this is essentially a trouble ticket. It allows the, the seller to say, hey, something's wrong with this listing. Can you help me? And the support team is extremely responsive and gets back within 24 hours. And finally, we're not going to send that. This is simply the basic settings tool. So as you can see, vSplash has developed a comprehensive sales engagement tool that enables sellers and merchants to engage in a much more compelling and consultative sales engagement process. Thank you very much.